Hello everyone, hope you're doing alright. It's Dada from Trade Guardian and today, by popular demand, I'm going to show you how to build a complex trading robot which trades three different indicators as its signal. And those indicators are going to be RSI, Relative Strength Index, CCI, Commodity Channel Index, and Stochastic oscillator. Now I'm not gonna have enough time on this tutorial to explain what each of them are. Please look it up on Google, it's quite simple. But today we're gonna start building this robot in my favorite application FX Dreamer. Remember it's a website and it's free for you to use unless you want really sophisticated features for which you would need to pay subscription. And here we are, fxdreamer.com. Let's start. So we need to be on this page called OnTick, and this is very important. And we need to choose, we need to start building our robot by checking if there are already any trades going on. So for that, we go check trades and orders count here, click this tab, and we need to choose no trade drag it over here and now we need conditions so condition and formula from which we choose condition number one connect this no trade to condition number one like so click drag and connect double click the condition and from this drop down menu we need to choose there's many options we can choose from but in our case we need indicator which it was already chosen but instead of moving average we need to choose RSI relative strength index and there it is RSI and period we, need, we might as well leave it as it is but tick this box very very important to tick this box this makes it all adjustable later when we're testing the robot or even when we're trading it and we need to make sure we choose crosses above see from here we could have chose, chosen greater lower crosses above crosses below and there are some other options but for this particular robot we need crosses above here instead of indicator we need a value and the value we should put 20 for now again click this box very important so we can adjust this value later update so this is our first indicator RSI ready now we need condition number two by the way, these are buying conditions. We start from buy and then we'll move on to sell conditions. So we connect the condition number one to this condition number two, like so. And the second condition needs to be CCI, which stands for Commodity Channel Index. From the same indicator menu, instead of moving average, we choose Commodity channel index or CCI as it's more commonly known. Click this box and we can adjust this value 14, period 14 later. Again we need to have crosses above here and instead of indicator we need to have a value and 50 is a classic value for a buy signal on a CCI indicator so we type in 50 but tick this box next to it so we can adjust it all later done this is our first two conditions fully done now we need the third and last buying condition which is going to be our stochastic oscillator again we connect second condition to the third and last buying condition like so double click from indicators this time we choose stochastic scroll down stochastic oscillator there we are I'm leaving all these values as it is but ticking these boxes so it can be 
all adjustable later. Again, we need crosses above. So, stochastic with these values, crosses above, value 20. And make sure we tick this box as well. Update. These are already fully assembled buying conditions together. Remind you, RSI, CCI, stochastic. Now we need to actually create the same conditions, only the opposite for sell. So what do we do? The easiest way in FX Dreamer is I will select all three conditions together, right click and choose copy. Now, right click somewhere else and paste. And we have copies of those conditions copied over here so we don't have to do it all again manually. But this time we're going to change these conditions to the opposite because these are going to be our selling conditions. Remember the first three are buying conditions and now we're defining our selling conditions. Like in the first, we double click on the first conditions, relative strength index, etc. This time crosses below. And instead of 20, we're going to put in 80. Update. CCI, second condition. We leave everything as it is, but we're changing crosses from crosses above to crosses below, like so. Again, all these boxes are ticked for us to be able to change them later. Update. And the last, stochastic. Again, crosses below from above below instead of 20 we're going to use 80 these are classic versions of buying and selling using these indicators these values I'm putting in but I'm ticking these boxes to remind you why because if you tick them you can adjust them later to your liking and update now we connect this no trade condition using the same connector, the orange one, very important, to the first of our cell conditions and the rest of them are already connected. So here we are, we're already halfway through. We have buying conditions over here, these three, and selling conditions over here, the last three. Now we need to actually perform buying and selling functions and we do it like so from this tab here we choose buy and sell and for buying we choose buy now and for selling we choose sell now there we go and we connect the last of the buying conditions from the orange connector to the buy now and we connect the last of the selling conditions from the same orange connector to sell now now let's go and define buying and selling. So start from buying, double click and everything like it is is fine here if we just click these boxes so we can adjust them later. So money management volume means you can input your own volume because this box is ticked, sorry, ticked and stop loss will be 50 but by ticking this box we can all adjust it later and take profit we might as well make it 150 1 to 3 ratio update now do the same on sell fixed volume but tick this box so we can adjust and manually enter the volume stop loss 50 pips click next to it and 150 for take profit tick next to it. Update. The last is uh, last component that we need is the trailing stop. So let's go and do that. From these tabs we need trailing stop break even. In our case we need a trailing stop for each trade. 
drag it up there because now we need to use this other connector from node trade the yellow one and connect it to the top of our trailing stop now let's go into the trailing stop itself and let's define how and what distance should our stop be trailing remember we set our stop loss to 50 pips so I'm gonna do the same here change it from 40 to 50 pips but tick this box so we can adjust it later that will be our trailing distance trailing step it says one pips here I'm gonna change it to zero but tick this box so we can change it later and this is very important trailing start threshold clicking on this you have these options open price pips etc we need pips offset and it says 10 pips here and that's fine ticking this ne next to it makes it fully adjustable let me explain what this last parameter means that means that when your trade is in profit by 10 pips or however many pips you define in your robot only then the stop will start trailing and click update now this is our robot fully ready let's recap quickly we started from this module called no trade and we connected the first three conditions as our buying conditions RSI, CCI and Stochastic and then we connected the conditions for actual buy action and we did the same for sell three conditions for sell and connected the sell module to actually start selling and the last we added our trailing stop that's it the last step is to click up here MQ4 if you want to export a code file and compile it yourself using MetaTrader's own MQL editor um, or you can click on EX4 in which case you will get a ready-to-go robot but you won't be able to edit code manually if you wanted to I usually export MQ4 which gives me a code version of the robot which I can go in manually in any MQL editor and edit it myself and here's the code I hope it helps please try every possible combination in this robot before trading it and test it test it before you go live thanks for watching I wish you all a very good holiday season and ciao for now.